Now in this video today I'll discuss a few questions from radiology which have been asked in the recent UPSC CMS exam. UPSC CMS is a primarily clinical paper. So you need to be good at your medicine, surgery, obs and gynae, PSM and it's a very 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 typical question where uh, multiple completion type of questions are predominant. A few questions from radiology come in the paper but most of them are not image based and many times they are integrated. So I'll try my best to cover a few questions from the UPSC CMS paper of 2024 and give you some ideas on the questions. So let's see the first question. If you have attended my class, you will find it very easy. There is the occupational disease. The patient is a stone cutter with nodular opacities in the upper and mid zones of the chest x-ray. So you already know this is not asbestosis. Asbestosis would be lower zone predominant. While silicosis and coal worker pneumoconiosis are upper zone predominant and also the profession is not suitable for asbestosis. So we are already thinking of silicosis but if this is silicosis there should be enlargement of the lymph nodes. If the lymph nodes are enlarged and you remember silica laden macrophages when they deposit in the hilar lymph nodes and the mediastinal lymph nodes they show eggshell calcification. So we can see in the question they have already mentioned mediastinal lymph nodes with eggshell calcification. All of this is pointing to a single best answer of silicosis. Everybody got it right and I'm sure you know if you remember from my class each one of this point is there in your back to basics. Once you do them I'm sure you can do it very easily. For future remember if they had mentioned plural calcification like a holly leaf appearance, lower low predominant involvement then you think of asbestosis. So it's a very classical question. Sometimes in uh, UPSC CMS they might say plural calcification. Then it will be asbestosis. If they say eggshell calcification of the lymph nodes, it is silicosis. So let's see the second question. Heberton nodes are seen in. So there are only two nodes that we need to remember. One is Baucard's nodes. Second is Heberton nodes. Both of them are seen in osteoarthritis. But the way to remember is alphabetically B comes before H. So Baucard nodes are present in the proximal interphalangeal joint. Heberton nodes are present in the distal interphalangeal joint. And along with the question you can see some other MCQs that they can ask you in the exam in the future. Osteoarthritis you will have non-uniform loss of joint space. This is a potential question. Another potential question is presence of osteophytes. Rheumatoid arthritis, the question that I want you to remember is periarticular osteoporosis. The first x-ray finding will be periarticular osteoporosis. That's very important to remember. Psoriasis involves the DIP. Remember the word pencil in cup appearance. And also remember bone density is normal. Bone density is normal. What will you remember for gout? First metatarsophalangeal joint, punched out rat bite erosion and named sign will be martel sign. So punched out erosion, rat bite erosion at the first metatarsophalangeal joint. So gout is a very important question as far as UPSC CMS is concerned. So please remember these are some joint disorders or arthritis that they have asked indirectly. Okay. Second question again, we covered it partly in radiology, although it is also covered in your pathology, that they have said NF1. So you remember acoustic neuroma and meningioma are associated with NF2. While NF1, you have a tumor called as optic glioma, if you remember from the class. So in my class, I told you optic gliomas are a special type of astrocytoma, which is called as pilocytic astrocytoma pilocytic astrocytoma. So here the answer was astrocytoma. Remember classic tumor in NF1, you, you wrote this in every one of my class, is optic glioma which is a pilocytic astrocytoma. <coughs> and final question from radiology from this UPSC CMS was, which of the following cancer is associated with exposure to ionizing radiation? Leukemia is classically associated with ionizing radiation. So look, whenever they ask you radiation associated cancers, leukemia is top of the line. Lung cancers are associated with radon exposure which is the radioactive gas. So remember in the class notes you have written radon exposure can lead to lung cancer. 
ब्रेस्ट कैंसर प्रियोर रेडिएशन टू देस्ट ऑल्सो इज अ रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सो वेन यू लुक एट दम्बिनेशन देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन से सो वन टू एंड थ्री आर एसोसिएटेड विद आयोनाइजिंग रेडिएशन लिम्फोमा इज नॉट दी आंसर हेयर सो यू कैन सी ऑल अदर कॉम्बिनेशन हैड फोर बट दी ओनली कॉम्बिनेशन विच हैज वन टू एंड थ्री इज दिस ओके सो आई होप योर पेपर वेंट वेल I wish you all the best for your future exams as well. But I would strongly recommend that do look at the UPSC questions also. They are good quality questions. Clinical subjects will be dominant, and they also give you good practice for your future exams. It is a good exam to target. I wish you all the best. Keep reminding yourself, अपना time आएगा नहीं, अपना time अपुन खुद लाएगा.